Okay, it's August 8th, 2015. In this video, I'm going to show how to use Dexter Manager to change the laser's player type. So, um, all the Dexter units that I ship will have a USB drive plugged into the Raspberry Pi, which sits on top of the Dexter board. So, in this case, this is the this is the USB drive. So all of them are going to have that one. They might not all look the same, but there's they're all, all of them are going to include that. So what you want to do if you ch if you want to change the disk type, I'm just going to give it give a little example. Let me take this camera out so I can move it around. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is unplug this, and then here's my laptop. This it, right now this is uh, what the um, Dexter loader looks like when nothing's plugged in. It doesn't really look very excited. Or sorry, Dexter manager. Right now it just says, I am scanning for Dexter drives now. You may insert a Dexter USB drive at any time. So it's basically just waiting for us to insert a drive. So not very exciting, but um, and that message may change in future versions. So um, on the side of this laptop, there's going to be some USB ports. You can kind of see them there. Uh, most, I mean, pretty much every modern computer is going to have a USB port. So whether you're on Mac or Windows or Linux or whatever, you're going to have a USB port. So with Dexter Manager running, I'm just going to plug this in. And Windows wants to do something with that. I'm just going to cancel that. And notice now Dexter Manager is saying, hey, there's a their Dexter drive inserted in, and it has like Dragon's Lair. Well, it'll show it up here. Um, Dragon's Lair is in here, and it has, uh, you can see that the there's this little radio button that's selected. See, load when Dexter starts, so it has Dragon's Lair. It's got Dragon's Lair 2, and it's got Theris Quest, all on this USB drive. And when Dexter powers on, it's going to load Dragon's Lair. But let's say we want to switch the disk to Theris Quest. All we have to do to switch the disk is just select this, and then down here, we have to click Save Changes. Where's my mouse? Click Save Changes, and then that will write it back to the that will write our new choice back to the USB drive. And then usually on Windows, you gotta go over here and say like safely eject, and then it'll say safe to remove hardware. You can now remove this. Um, on Macintosh, it's going to be something different. I don't actually know what it's going to say, but um, it's pretty important to safely eject the device before you actually pull it out of the machine. Okay, so now we've safely um, unmounted it, I guess. We've told it we want to play Thayer's Quest. So I'm going to put that in. And I'm going to power, I'm going to power it off. I'm going to show you what it does. So, I'll power it back on. Go to my monitor. Now, here's a new screen. It's going to say Dexter needs to update to cancel this power Dexter off before this progress bar finishes. And I have to, oh wait, I don't want to update. Quick, power it off. <sighs> oh, phew. Okay. That was, that was just to show you that it is safe to power off the machine when you see that screen because for those 20 seconds, well, it's, you know, it's, it's counting down for 20 seconds and it's, and it's saying, I need to update, and if you don't want to update, then power off right now. So it actually is safe to power off right then because at that point, all of the drives on Dexter are going to be in read-only mode, but after that 20 seconds passes, it's going to switch to write mode, and then it's really not good to power off the the drives because if you power up the drives while it's writing it could get corrupted and you could have all kinds of problems so um, so let, now let's say now let's say that I've decided okay I really do want to update so I'm going to let the update finish so now let's see what happens here oh Dexter needs to update to cancel this power Dexter off before this progress bar finishes okay well I'm going to let the progress bar finish because I really want to update. And you can hear the Dragon's Lair is still like booting even though Dexter is like doing something different. 
so just watch this. So now it's a, yeah, so dragons are actually still booting, it's kind of interesting. Um, so now Dexter has updated and it's reset itself, but Dragon's Lair has already sent a play command, but Dexter has reset so it doesn't have the play command. So from your point of view, it's going to look like something's wrong with Dexter and you're going to say, oh, like Dexter's broken, it's not doing anything, it's just sitting here. Um, when you change disks, it's going to be out of sync for just a little while while you power it on for the first time. So that's normal and that's not anything you need to worry about. Um, next time Dexter um, seeks to a different... I mean, when Dexter get, Dexter thinks this... or the Dragons are machine thinks it's playing Dragons are right now. And now it has changed to frame 197. <laughs> Because that is the, well, that's, now you can see it's playing Thayer's Quest. So, okay, so, <laughs> I'm like trying to explain like the technical details, but you probably don't even care, I mean, you don't even really care about the technical details. All you really, <laughs> all you need to know at this point is that um, when you switch discs, there's going to be a brief period where it appears that Dexter is like out of sync and confused. And there's not really any way that I could think of to like get around that. Um, but at this point, it's like in sync again, and Dragon's Lair is like Dragon's Lair thinks it's playing Dragon's Lair, and Dexter is actually playing Thayer's Quest. See, now it's going to frame 197, which is you know a typical frame that Dragon's Lair plays during the attract mode. Now 306, that's another frame that Dragon's Lair always plays. So it's actually playing the Dragon's Lair attract mode while Thayer's Quest is running. So, um, <laughs> I may have given you more information that you wanted to know, but like, the point, the point is, is that you can use Dexter Manager to change the active disk and then put it back in Dexter, and that's basically an easy way to, to change disks um, using that program. And also I just wanted to show you that the first time after you change a disc and then you boot up again, it's going to be kind of like out of sync for a little bit, and that's normal. And um, I don't really have a way to work around that right now. Maybe I'll think of something in the future, but anyway. So <laughs> there's Thayer's Quest running in, running on Dragons or ROMs. It doesn't really. I mean, that's basically the same thing you'd get if you put a Thayer's Quest disc in a Laser's player and then run run Dragons there. So. Um, I'm going to show you something really cool after this in my next video. I'm going to show you how to use Dexter Manager to troubleshoot um, network problems. So check out the next video. It's really cool. Okay, bye.